Welcome back to Wristwatch Deep Dive. Today I'll be talking about my Tatoni Impetus Ceramtec watch. I'm not a dealer or flipper. I'm not uh, selling the watches I covered. Just highlighting watches I have in my collection. All right, so this is the Tatoni Impetus reference number 83765SAA711. Watch, box, watch wants to roll right off the table. All right, here it is here. 43 millimeter ceramic stainless steel case. It's a ceramic stainless steel combo. The blue here is ceramic and then the stainless steel where it's steel color. 11.9 millimeters thick. This uh, Carolina blue rubber strap, they don't call it Carolina blue on their on their website or anything, they say blue, but that's really what I call this color. Uh, also came with stainless steel bracelet. I'll show you that when I get to the box. Um, and it has a unique quick exchange system. Here, I'll show you real quick. Again, it's similar to the Maurice LaCroix. You have the two, the two spring-loaded kind of switches here. You push with your thumb and your finger and it comes right off very quickly. And then you just put it right back on just as fast. I mean, I like these systems. How awesome is that? <clears throat> you don't need a tool. You don't have to worry about accidentally scratching the casing. It's quick. I wish every watch kind of had that nowadays. Uh, the movement's an ETA 2892 A2 automatic movement, 42 hour power reserve, scratch resistant, sapphire crystal, Screw down crown with hacking seconds. Uh, does have a date complication at the three o'clock position. There's blue loom on the hands and indexes. Uh, this is a white dial. Um, See-through expedition case back. I acquired this watch from an online retailer. All right, brand info. Tatoni is a Swiss luxury watch company founded in 1919 by Fritz Schloop. The company was originally named Felco. Both Felco and Tatoni coexisted for a time with Tatoni fostering a reputation as being higher quality. They eventually dropped the Felco line and the company became known as Tatoni. The brand is very popular in China and has a significant presence in Asia. Uh, this is small family owned brand that has re remained independent since its founding in 1919. Uh, why I like this watch or why I bought it. I like the, the um, the history around the brand. When I was in Switzerland, I did see Tatoni Boutiques. Um, you don't see them at all, really, uh, in the United States. Like I said, they're popular in Asia, but uh, I like the history of the brand. They, they make a reputable watch. It's very high quality. I like that quick release system, and I like this color scheme. I don't have a watch in this, this Carolina blue, even though I'm not a Tar Heels fan. I'm an NC State fan. But uh, I like this color, it's pretty cool. All right, we'll talk about the box here. So, a little larger than normal, but not crazy big, not as big as some. And the outer box is pretty typical. It's a little, it's nicer quality cardboard than, than the average, but it, the box inside the box, this is a lot nicer than what you normally see. So let's kind of put that to the side. So this is like a hard plastic. Um, this plate here is a metal plate. It's, it's pretty nice felt on the on the bottom. This is actually pretty good quality. It feels good quality. You have your cards, the 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 card slot envelope here. That's the online retailer that I, I bought it from. And here is the metal bracelet that I also have with it. And it has that quick, the um, the quick release system. So it goes, it integrates very easily. I thought about using the metal bracelet instead of the rubber, um, because it's a little bit more subtle. It still has the color, but uh, I went with the rubber because I have a lot of metal bracelet watches and why not? Why not just stick with the rubber? All right, 
that is the box. And now for a loom shot. I'm gonna have to pause the video because I actually don't have my loom flashlight. So I'm gonna pause it and then we'll get right back to it. All right, I'm back. Now let me get the lights here. Charge the loom up. All right, and there she is. Now I would say this is uh, slightly above average. I love the blue loom. Um, the markings are very large. It's easy to see. Uh, yeah, I, slightly above average. I like it. Um, it's the only thing that would that would make it significantly above is I don't know if they're tritium tube like the ball watch, but I like I like this loom. So. Yeah, well done to Tony. They did they did a good job. Easy to read, good on the hand in and hand in indexes. All right, so that's the uh, Tetonian Pettis. Uh, let me know what you think. Shoot me a uh, comment on this video or an email at wristwatchdeepdive at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. See you next watch.